Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your qualifying review of the Styrian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen will start on pole position, and what a dominated qualifying session that was by Max Verstappen. That was absolutely world class. There was just no way he was going to be beaten today. Max is on the form of his life, and this really could be his season where he wins a world title. It's been brewing for a little while, but now looks like it could really happen, because last year he did so well to split the two Mercedes, but just didn't have the package to keep up with Mercedes that... This season, wow, he is on the form of his life. So Max will start on pole. Bottas actually qualified second, but obviously will drop down to fifth. So now promote Lewis Hamilton second. Lando Norris will start P3 just behind Lewis Hamilton. That is absolutely fantastic. Kimi Raikkonen in Q1 went off in the Grand Hall and only qualified P18. What on earth is that from the 2007 World Champion? Kimi Raikkonen is not having a great season at all. To me, he has done Kimi Raikkonen, you know, time to call it a day, I reckon. Just not good enough at all by Kimi Raikkonen. George Russell, so, so close to getting into Q3. Missed out on about... A few tenths of a second. How unlucky was that? He is my star at qualifying. I was going to get out to Norris, so you have to get out to George Russell. He was absolutely superb. Leclerc, only P7. And Carlos Sainz, only P12. Ferrari's pace, very concerning, you know. Where has their pace gone since Azerbaijan? And Monaco, it's like on street circuits they're fine, but on normal racetracks they are back to reality now. Ferrari, shocking, absolutely shocking. So knocked out in Q one was the Kita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Kimi Raikkonen, Nicholas Latifi. But the biggest upset was Aslan Ocon getting knocked out in Q one. That is absolutely horseshit for Asan Ocon. Ever since he's had that new contract announced, where has he gone? He's like completely disappeared in a moment. So a bad qualifying act for Asan Ocon. So she went Fernando Alonso qualified in P9. Shocking by the French run, it really is. But Daniel Ricciardo, P14. What the fuck was that by Daniel Ricciardo? That is absolute horseshit at the highest level by Daniel Ricciardo. I mean, where on earth did he lose so much time? Because in practice yesterday he looked so good, but just does not look like he can get to grips with this McLaren car at all in a moment. Lando Norris, though, is just absolutely performing that McLaren to the max because so far he scored points in every race but Max Verstappen wow my goodness a total domination by the Dutch enjoying her I said he'd probably be hanging up a pole and there you go absolutely dominated that session Lewis Hamilton tried to push the Mercedes to the max so ended up making a mistake on his final run but even that wouldn't have been good enough to beat Max Verstappen's time. Max Verstappen had that pole position in the bag. Absolutely unbelievable. P5 for Perez but he'll be promoted to P4 but yeah at least Perez is up there and that's what Red Bull need. As they finally got a second driver Score decent points. That's why Red Bull are in really strong position this season. As Hamilton says, he needs Spotas up there to take the fight to Mercedes. This is what's really going to cost Mercedes this year. It's Bottas's poor run of form. 
But comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. Wow, that was a, quite an exciting session. Sebastian Vettel, P13. I mean, that's a bit of a disappointment because the last couple qualifying sessions, he's been quite high. But Antonio Giannazzi again in that Alfa Romeo completely outperformed Kimi Raikkonen. Lika Satine looked like for a while he was possibly going to outqualify George Russell for the first time. But George Russell yet again finds a way through and outqualifies Nicholas Satine. Yeah, so George Russell keeps that run going. I cannot wait for the Grand Prix. It's going to be epic. Join me tomorrow for a race review of the Styrian Grand Prix. And also I'll be doing a match reaction to Holland against Czech Republic. Bye-bye.